Mobile phone cases have been around primarily to offer your precious device protection when you drop it from the top of the Empire State Building or less dramatically out of a moving vehicle on the highway. They are now somewhat of a fashion statement and every manufacturer from Louis Versace or Hugo Klein or whatever their names are will have a pretty case to differentiate you from other mere mortals. But it doesn't stop there. Along with the cases came mobile phone attachments. There are attachments with telephoto lenses, extra storage and even stun guns. Print however has brought something a little different to the mobile phone attachment market along with the 2018 way of spelling their company name. Not that instant cameras are something new but maybe it needed some updating to bring it into 2018. This is actually their second generation product, so it should have some improvements over the first iteration. And it's also iOS only for now, but we might see some Android support in the future. Let's see if print has managed to pull it off. As far as packaging goes, I can't fault print. Superb. You get the device itself, the magazine, 10 sheets of paper for printing, and an orange micro USB cable to make you look interesting. The print has all the right ingredients to make a fantastic camera grip. It's not going to add too much weight to your device, it's built out of a really durable rubber feeling material and the texture makes it a pleasure to hold. The shutter button on the top has a nice tactile feel, the sliding mechanism feels premium and even the lightning port is connected in a way that makes it flexible. This was one of the things that concerned me as I didn't want to have to remove my phone case just to connect to the print. So I'm glad that it had a great fit. But, and there is literally a big but here, you can't have this attached to your phone at all times unless your pockets are around the size of I don't know, Wyoming. So, to get set up, first you'd need an iPhone 5 or newer and the print app from the App Store. You may also need to charge the device, which takes around three hours. Then from there, fire up the app and follow the handy dandy video tutorial, which helps you insert the paper, magazine, and connect to your phone. I found this to be super useful as the orientation of all the little bits can be slightly confusing. The magazine can hold 10 sheets of paper. And finally, at the bottom of the device is the micro USB charging port and a slot where the prints come out. Lastly, once your phone is actually in there, it's held very firmly in place, which was one of my concerns, but it's not going anywhere. But hold on a second, Yusuf. You said this was a printer. Where do you fill the ink, you may ask? Well, faithful make use of subscriber. The print itself doesn't actually have any ink. The secret source is in the zero ink or zinc technology that the print pocket uses. Zinc does not require any ink cartridges as the paper itself contains all the colors and can print in a single pass. Zinc's technology is also used by other companies such as Polaroid in some of their instant printers as well. The paper used in the print is also marketed as being fade and tear resistant. It's also adhesive backed, which means you will be able to stick your prints in like a custom photo book if that's your sort of thing. So Zinc does feel like it's quite an established technology, but as they say, the proof is in the printing. Once you fire up the app, and there's gonna be some not so happy people here, you need to create an account and give the app access to your camera, library, and microphone, and lastly, do some quick firmware upgrades. Creating an account does bring some value to the table, which we'll discuss a little later. There are essentially two options for printing now. You can either print something from your camera roll or use the app to take a new picture or video. Yes, video, but we're coming to that. Once you have your desired selection, you have the option of adding a frame to give your print that instant camera feel. I do quite like the frames because you can add some text to the bottom right from within the app and that gives some context to your pictures. Just like other social media apps, you can also add some popular effects and some basic editing functions to your pictures before printing. Finally, you can hit that magic print button and revel in the instant gratification of having your picture magically appear. No matter how many times I did this, I was still handed a shot of dopamine courtesy of my brain and I found this oddly addictive. Now, there's one more party trick that print has up its sleeve and it's the form of augmented reality. Remember how I said you could select a video to print? You can actually embed a video inside the picture before printing. If you've read or watched Harry Potter, it's quite similar to the moving images from the newspapers. So from within the app, click on the scan tab and you can have four of your prints play their embedded videos even with sound. Now you can actually give these photos to your friends or family and if they've downloaded the print app, they will be able to play the embedded videos as well and you will get a notification when someone scanned your print. Awesome. Even if you have just a static photo, you could also add a different video in the form of a story so that when you scan the print, the footage that plays could be like the backstory or lead up to that event. The social media integration with print allows you to record your augmented reality experience and share it with other people as well. I mean, just browsing through the discover section in the app shows how creative some of the other print owners actually are. Now, here's where things get a little pear-shaped. 
the actual prints themselves do seem a little washed out and the text that I've added to the frames could have been a little sharper. This does seem to be an issue with other printers that use the zinc technology, so it might be down to the choice of paper that is causing this and not actually the device itself. Another deterrent for you may be the cost. The device itself is quite reasonably priced, actually at around $150. It is more than some of the other instant printers out there, but it does bring a little more to the table. Print is the only company to offer unlimited paper through a subscription plan, and that makes it more cost effective than its competitors if you're planning on doing a lot of printing. If you're willing to forego the augmented reality and are not planning on doing much printing, it may be worth checking out some of the other printers on the market. When it comes down to it, there is definitely a niche market here. Younger people and people who enjoy scrapbooking are going to love this device. There's still something special about holding a physical print in your hand and having it come to life makes it even more magical. The prints are small enough to keep in your wallet and are sure to impress people once they see the magic of the live pictures. The device itself is lightweight and well-built and combined with the well-designed app makes it a premium product. Had the prints themselves been better quality, this would have been a clean sheet for the print. If you thought this video sucked, you know what to do, but if you enjoyed it, hit that like button and leave a comment down below if your feelings are slightly more complicated than that. And don't forget to check out the full review on our website.